here are the place for things. You can't do it, ma. The sign. You can't do it, ma. I got on the knock of both men, the crotch, butcher. ลูกครั้งลูกปีเก่าคนเจ้ามันดังมันลือเต็มวัตถุบางโจรมสักการชิมวยสกอร์ชิไลโอตะกูดำไปทัวร์กายกาสราชิลในดำบอลจูกรง
hidden away in the back of the cave. Wow. And so maybe this is something special. Um, there were many very simple uh, earrings and, and rings, but many, many. Um, this also may be indication that this is a special site for special people. Uh, we found beads, small beads, but also very large beads, very nice beads compared to Okai, Phnom Penh, and other places. So this site is really as special as we thought it would be. Hmm. What we do right now is we want to know how long ago these people lived. And what Sean is doing is taking one tooth, Very gently pulling it out. One tooth, and then we will also take a little piece of bone. We will use scientific analysis to find out how many hundred years ago they lived, and also from the tooth, we can find out something about what they ate. As Sean said, many of these people did not have good health. They have weaknesses in their bones, and you can see this in the skulls. And so it would be very interesting to find out what they were eating in this area, because the forest is very rich in food. As Sean said, if they cannot absorb the goodness of the food, it may be because they had worms or some parasite that would make them a bit sick. Okay. And uh, I think still a question like uh, of the car, or this the car, is still a question also. You're thinking that maybe bone come from not far from this area and we're thinking that maybe come out and some question I'm just question to Jim K. Mm. He did know before us and he know from the Krishna collection all this thing and we sent the team down was in 2001 mm. 2002 and I hope that maybe the next step we're planning to go to the angry top of here maybe 12, 12 kilometers, mm -hmm. but up and down in the area. But I don't know, we, this, this happened and what before happened because you support the financial that thing. Mm -hmm. And our last question is how we are for the future, we can we have book in English, book in Khmer for that story for the future. If we can have that one, maybe good, but take time and have who will be supported. We know that Cambodian government, we tell the truth, don't have much money to support that. Like uh, Ok he come here, mm. just survived by, and like us also, the team protection, mm. that just side uh, survived by the donor mm. money. And how are we thinking about next year? Next year, that means 2000. 12 or 2003, well, that important part. I, I will tell you, number one, about going to the other sites and finding the other sites. This is very important. I also agree. These people, I think, came from in the Cardamom Mountains. We know site as far as Okai, uh, and uh, there is another site in Trapiang Ruang, but there is also a site up in Prasat in Phnom, 72 kilometers apart. I think the people may have had some uh, relationship, maybe not family, but the same kind of belief. They use the exact same kind of way to bury their dead in the same jars. So the more sites we find, the better we will understand exactly where these people could have lived. This is very important to go out and find as many sites as possible to at least get the GPS positions 
Why are the GPS positions important? Because, number one, we can then look at where the sites are on the map. When we go to find the money to support the research, we can show how many of the sites there are, the kind of pattern they make on the map. This interests fund people who give the funding. Number two, it is important to talk about these sites because everyone talks about Angkor as if it were the only part of Cambodian history. However, Cambodian history was also the people who lived in the forest, who lived in the mountains. They lived at the same time as the great Angkor Kingdom. And their history, their story, also needs to be told in the history of Cambodia. Good. Thank you. Mm. And I think that the next repeat, I hope that uh, the same and they repeat about it. Report about book. Because a mm. lot about book in, in Angkor Wat, right? Ja. But we don't have book about Ja in mm. Karma Mountain. And a lot, I think that a lot of people, they use Relax on King. And Relax on King about 8 minutes by helicopter from that time. Maybe some bone from that. Because in that one, you see that old temple. Yeah. Maybe in that time, a lot of people live in that area. And here we call Kam Road. Kam mm. Road not far from here, about 6 or 8 kilometers. Mm. And Kam Road that has old temple also. Right. Maybe some people from here. But... Uh, He's thinking that some worry that oh maybe a lot of writing in English worry about you no know, in Khmer, but I'm thinking no. now now in Cambodian have people that have smart they can translate to in this, Khmer also. I mm. have also uh, thought we will take all of the information, not just the archaeology, but also the ecology, the natural history of the area to make a book. It must be in Khmer and English. It must be. Number one, because the Khmer uh, story can then be read by many, many Khmer people. And there are not very many good books on the archaeology in Khmer. Why? Why? <laughs> it's easy enough to translate. Yeah, yeah that um, can help. That, that, that's good news for the special ministry of, of art. Ah, well, all of my reports are in uh, Khmer. Good. So, uh, this burial from Jar 11. It's probably a male. Um, and you can see it's got a very, very well preserved skull. Um, I'm taking very close up photos to look at the pathology. There's evidence of um, Cribra orbitalia, fine pitting in the orbits, and also parotic hyperostosis, the same thing, but on the, on the calvarium, on the top of the skull. Um, there's also evidence of um, general um, infection, probably a dental infection, um, that may have um, may have become a um, sinus infection as well. And there's also evidence for um, a broken nose on this individual. So lots of lots of um, pathology.
help chop the cook. Man, I too. The same in Why that? Bung rung chăm thảo nhầm bật công vừa lang vinh. 
hay mùi tiết ở chấm phố càng nghe ní vì chỉ cả là ở đây đối với bàn mà chụp sầm ạt biển tượng ó biển tượng ó tiếp đối với cào sầm rập đã thiệt bộ bẹ bờ đơn ta dường bị đào mà hay hay có chụp này mùi đây mà cha bị đây mà cha biển tượng ó đi đi vậy thà phụ dường bàn mà sầm ạt ở ruộng rừng ạt đôi kỹ thuật mà bọn xâm ạc là tìm đi hay đẹp chồng ở xã ạc làng vầy Nhi chấp này mùi này cả Hạp lẹn nâng thay ra xã Chẳng đồn ta tại ọc cô ta đi đi nửa bê đập bộ dương Đồn ta đám cô ta đi đi thà Bộ dương bán chọc mặt vợ ca Bọn xâm ạc chút xâm Ất biển hay bật công biển nâng ai Mình lẽ khả nạn đổi lọ đổi đào vầy
Si Boy ma. ແລະຈະກະຈັ່ງຕາເວັນຕະຫຼອດຕາເວັນໃຫ້ຈັ່ງມີບານສະອາດ <coughs> Hãy con trang mình lôi xong lôi dùng đấu chân ám cái đoàn mà ai phở ở ca xa chơi đều mà đoàn tiệt Mình phân tác đơn thảm nên xoay xa xoay cả Mình là một đống tuyên chật sắp Mình là ảnh kỳ lư, là ảnh kỳ cao Xây phần năng Nóng tốt xô Ờ... Lực môi tiết này Ờ... Stil co chôn xa dư thông khẳng lưu hào thả xịt bản năng tôi dư tinh tinh dư xa thông rung chân niêm có một tiết dư dư chất chụp hát dư đăng thả đồng nhân chá đá nâng nhìn to tiết dư dư mà đồng khẳng cao nền chôn chai cây tập sinh học về hiện chụp tiểu cơ nông tầm mau chụp nòn ngắm nên cái bài cái bóc bích chọn tiếp đó dương trong đắng rồi ta dương thọc vừa ẩm đẹp tới dương thọc khơi nhé thọc khơi lại chân từ nói với to to nấy đó thì phân dương dương chân chun kia chân từ chân ẩm đẹp ẩm đẹp con này kia phân cái chân từ một cái phân hay thôi trong ẩm đẹp đó con trao dương có mọi cả bắt bong đầm miên chập đầm miên này có mọi bắt bong được bên đây to to cái này thôi và dương khơi bọ miên hơi ở cái vô bát từ cái cái bài vai trao từ những cái đại cây đây từ những ạt gạch to to cái này từ hồ đã con trao từ cái rừng người lọ đây This is Phnom Phnom Phan, the largest of the jar sites that we've so far surveyed in the Cardamom Mountains. It was particularly important to come and survey this site, first of all, for the number of jars that we have. Um, there are over 40 entire jars, and Tep Soka has conserved perhaps another seven or so. Many are still in pieces. As a matter of fact, it is such a large site that we now know we have to break up the work here into two seasons. The second season will start in 2013. What we have found in this site is also particularly important. First of all, there are at least five coffins, some still intact. There is a different type of coffin construction here, including a one meter long pod-shaped coffin, and coffins that have their lids held on with two pegs. The variety of coffins suggest that 
while people were making the same burial practice, they had slightly different methods of their coffin construction. We've also found the greatest number of this very simple rings, metal rings, that we find in all of these body jar sites. Here we have found now at least 35 to 40 rings and pieces. One jar alone held 15 rings. For the first time we've also found earrings and other small ornaments. Again, we have found the simple beads that we find in other body jar sites. But this time, the beads are more elaborate. Most of the beads are blue, which is very interesting. Overall, this site may represent a central place, an important place where the practice either began and then radiated out from to the other sites within the mountains, or it may have been the most important of the jar sites in the Cardamom Mountains. The local forest people that we work with tell us that there are a number of sites within several kilometers of here. As a matter of fact, there is one site with five jars on a ledge, only about a 10 minute walk from this site. The jar sites in the Cardamom Mountains are very special. The work that we do is important for capturing and then telling the cultural history of the people who lived in these hills during Angkorian times, but were not necessarily associated with the kingdom of Angkor. Their story is just as exciting.